Hello, mathematicians, and welcome to Number Corner. For Number Corner today, we will be working on our Number Corner Checkup, Number 3, Part 1. This is an assessment. You won't need any materials today. You will be working in Seesaw. Let's have a look at our Number Corner Checkup 3, Part 1. Remember, when we work on assessments, we need to listen to the directions on each page. Each page will have a little speaker with the word play by it. When you push on the speaker, you'll be able to hear the problems read to you. Remember to work on your own using your own thinking. Your teacher wants to know what you can do, what you know. Try to solve all of the problems even the ones you don't fully understand. You can always come back and look at the problem again after you're finished, too. Remember to explain how you solve the problems when the problem asks you to. You can use pictures, words, and numbers in your explanation to show your teacher how you knew the answer. Let's look at our first part of our checkup. Number one is asking you to solve as many of these addition problems as you can in one minute. You can use the clock app on your iPad to set a timer for one minute. You may need an adult to help you set this timer. Make sure that as soon as the timer goes off, you stop working on these problems. I even want you to put a red mark right after your last problem. If you get through the first two rows, you would draw a red line right at the end of that row. If you got through the first two rows and one more problem, you would put a red line right after that problem to show your teacher how far you got. Number two is showing you two analog clocks. The clocks below show what time Danny wakes up in the morning and goes to bed at night. Write the time shown on each clock, including AM and PM. For letter A, write the time that Danny wakes up. Remember to write AM or PM for morning or afternoon. Do the same for clock B that shows when Danny goes to bed. Number three says the digital clocks show what time Danny eats breakfast and dinner during the week. Draw hands on the clock faces to show the time and circle AM or PM. Number four wants you to write an equation to match each story problem. Solve the equations, use numbers, pictures, or words to show your thinking. Letter A says Maria and Max are going to dump their crayons together into one box. Maria has some crayons. Max has 24 crayons. When they put their crayons together, they will have 72 in all. How many crayons does Maria have? Remember to write your equation at the bottom of the page and show your work in the open space. For 4B, you'll do the same to show your work and write your equation but this is a different problem. 4B says John had a puzzle with 100 pieces. Some of the pieces fell on the floor and got lost. Now there are only 87 pieces left in the box. How many of the pieces got lost? Think about what the problem is asking you to do and show your work. Number five 
wants you to write the greater than, equal to, or less than sign on the line between each pair of numbers to compare them. Show which number is greater than the other, equal to the other, or less than the other for letters A, B, and C. For letter D, explain your answer to the last problem above, problem 5C, right here. How do you know that one of the numbers is greater than or less than the other? Number 6 wants you to add two numbers and show your work. Use numbers and words to explain how you got the answer. That is part one of your number corner checkup three. If you need to hear any of the problems again as you're working, remember to push this speaker right where it says play, and you can hear the problems read to you again. Time to get to work, mathematicians, and I'll see you next time for Number Corner.